I got more to see in here. Right. Head down the middle. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be. Perfect. What we consider to be the most simple, cost-effective, easy solution at the moment, which is you can do 15, 30, or 50 in service, depending on what you need. On the count of the outside of the trailer, you can all your battery cables in here, the NBA, your battery cable and the chargers, one for the wide, the chargers overnight, and off cell. I got it in charge in this setup. It's still a little like Honda generator. I know it doesn't make like green, but it makes it more useful than anything else. Yeah. Uh, that's again, that's what you know, is you see how the generator is so you can live water at the night. So that's that, and then that package comes with the shelf. So, um, the shelf you can either do a single tier or a double tier. Uh, good. You don't want any cabinets. Bravo, green Yes, sir. Eight and a half by eighteen. Side entry door, full size. Option. But full aluminum, no wood. No rot, leave the door open, it's not going to uh, get any water damage. So this integrated ramp. No scotch locks, that's pretty big. And a bunch of tube frame everywhere. Look at that. That's nice. Tube frames. That's where it's at. Room, very simple, wide open. Now, now 12. No, I have to go here. Anthony, fan of the Track loader, C14. C314. Boat engine. Oh, these are nice. I wish Bob had a joystick like this. Go to SV 75 3. This is a closed head, roll up door. Back of camera is now on this screen, I believe, instead of being up on the side window. Glass is on the inside of the mesh. They have some different models, 75, 95, 65, and 75-3. Starting at 67,000 for the 75-3. 66,000 for the 75-2. That's a lot nicer. Better than the last sign. Okay, cage. Fourteen hundred pounds. Too far out there. Last the other side, tilting steering wheel, tilt telescopy. Oh, no, no. 
joystick goes up and down, make the seat, back of the camera, touch, no touch screen, just jog so. Nice and high up. Apparently it's the same frame as the 85. But just get it kind of way in the way. Busan engine, this was a diesel in here. Oh, the Japanese approved this. They also approved other stuff. Damn. New excavator, about 30, 40. Losers. It's a little bucket. It's a 42 undercarriage, 35 upper structure and cab, 42 arm. And this tilting bucket, not as cool as a roto tilt, but moving models around. This is a new model. The 42 is gone, and now a 48. The 35, 22 horsepower is going to remain the 35, and the 35, the 33 horsepower is going to become a 38. And now they have a 40 to bridge a gap. This has got a boat. Only 600 bucks. Um, This is for the. Wasn't like nine something? Well, you probably want the square box. Why do they still it out? It was only. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, and so what we did here is we kind of used all the same components to get a linear drive, a linear uh, adjustment. So you have to ask the guy when you go linear, you can also get a more accurate. Seriously, I'm the 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 Oh. I don't move it. She's got a Orvis hammock in my tube, a body jeep flag. That's the best part. She's strapped in the seat now. Yeah, this is the same one here. So now Laura's like, you know, I'm going to It's a blade thing, right? It's a blade thing. And then uh, I bought her a new water fountain. She kept uh, the other dog, the cat. Get her on the collar. Oh, wait, you got four. Yeah, yeah. So let me, let me help you guys. So what's important is when we're balancing a blade, we have to measure from the center of rotation. Okay. So we have to first locate the center of rotation on the cone, gotcha. and then we can pull the magnet forward. Ah. Now the balance, the blade, gravity can bring the heavy end down. We get all of our information in a quarter turn. And because this moves so fast, this is very out of balance. If this would take eight seconds, to make that distance, it would be fractions of an ounce and you could use that blade. But anything basically four and under, you want to repair. And then the rod here is for checking the straightness. You touch off on the back of one edge and you come around and check and see if there's a deviation so you can check the straightness. So that's that's what's important about, again, you can't. that's why you can't come here and just go something random, right? Yeah, gotcha. Can you sharpen that blade for us? I can certainly, uh, give me a second, some gloves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all have a blade charger? Uh, not, not nothing as nice as this one. Yeah. So the, 
crank handle on top adjusts for the angle and for wheel wear. When the wheel is almost touching the work table, that will always be 30 degrees. So as you lower with the crank down to 30 degrees, or down to the edge of the table, you're always going to touch 30 degrees. So all you have to do is keep proximity to that corner. And of course, we are referencing our angle off the underside, so you have to stay flat. You cannot lift up the blade, right? more of the blade that you otherwise would have to. Whereas if you keep the same angle all the time, you're removing the least amount of material in that angle. Okay. So it was a little red box? Yes. Okay. I don't have the back on it. It might not be coming on an angle. Okay. So what happened was is with all the wild COVID stuff that happens, motor efficiency, efficiency standards Caterpillar 255, new skid steer. Placing the 259. Jake, we kind of did that. I wasn't talking about that. We had cover I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> I think I, I think I had a similar foot mouth problem <laughs> one time and I was like screen up in the corner. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. Good, how are you? Good. Great. Guard. I'm just kidding. My brother loves these things. So I don't know what reason. Tell these guys the boss bought the back door. That was before he came out with the front door. At the case booth. The X42D. First time I've ever seen an engine mounted on the side. Yeah, a couple questions. Do you know who your case dealer is? Uh, it would be Conroe Fuel. Fuel and hydraulic in the back door. So if you go outside, that's wild. Not bad. Case. This looks way better than a multi. Not cheaper. cheaper. I would hope so. It's got less steel. Look at that big Look at that big valve in there. See that? So runs this thing. Yeah, because this is your pump. That's cool. This whole thing is normally right here. 
they moved it forward and put their stuff in there. Oh yeah. Controller? This thing is we do it with a one inch gas line, makes the meter go round and round and round in the house. Just a one inch pipe, and it's not even it's half the size of this plane. Can you spin that around? This is cool. Wow, it's got a different design too. It's like weird shape. How's it going again? Yeah, good. You alright? Yeah, I got yeah. the camera today. We'll yeah, take perfect. Some, yeah, I guess take some video on it. Take it back to New York. Sure thing. Do you have any literature on this thing? Yeah. Just like specs, weights. We do want to scan. We've got a QR code to scan it. Okay. Hydraulic pump. No belt drive. 150 feet of hose, cannon. Uh, everything operates from up top. <laughs> if it's all electrically operated. Is there a way to put, uh, if it's all electronic, to get the pump to go? Is there any way to do like an auxiliary switch down low? No, you try to like the fit and remove. You remove the piece and move it down, and yeah, no, we, every, everything was up top. Everything yeah, because if we were to put this on a skid, it'd be you know, it'd be pretty up. high. Yeah, it'd you'd be, be high. Yeah. You got to crawl up there, right, and set it, and then you know, like sometimes, yeah. you, like I've done, uh, what we did this year is we pulled the hose out. I couldn't see where the guy was, mm -hmm. so I called him on my AirPods and talked to him, rattle up, rattle down. Yeah. So, they, uh. Obviously, your hose will. That's the retractor button right there? This. I think. No, the factory may not make it work, or maybe something else. Yeah. Because there's only a couple of bolts, and you'll find the wire in here. And if you want them out here, you lower it. I think. Well, that's this. 
This is a 1200 gallon fuel tank in the front, hydraulic tank in the front, stainless steel tank, stainless steel auger, aluminum top. There's no rusting on that end, but the pump, you know, obviously carbon steel, susceptible to rust. The 30 years old of ours is getting rusty. Loading from both sides, plenty of deck space, offset loading. Front, and this one, back side on that end. Protected weight on the inside. Fill hose, shut off on the top, that's nice. Factory direct. Factory direct, yes. I live in New Hampshire. Here, take this up there and take some video of what's up in the cab. Price cost, now some room. Landing and landscaping. Is that backup camera? Yep. Lots of switches, radio. HVAC stuff up there too? Yeah. No extra title switch though. I keep seeing it. down below. <laughs> no, there's four right here. Some blanks? Yeah, there's four blanks. One did not have any extra toggles. I don't remember which machine it was. Put your lunch in there. All your garbage. That's what the guy told me. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, there's four extra. That's a big machine. I saw that, yeah. Take a nap while you're plowing. Can't fill the engine. That, that would, somebody said to put freaking fuel in that thing. What is the fuel on this thing? Oh, it's up here. Fuel's up here. So there's not a cap on it. It's a one cubic yard bucket uh, designed for a pickup truck. Pass. Cool. It's a big one, huh? 324, not really big. Same size. Same this size is the high lift option. Same size as what, though? The 308. Oh, 308. Oh, oh. You're talking catapult. <laughs> this is a much bigger hatch. You're gonna need that when you're working on John Deere's. Where's this one got? Yanmar. Well, you got a Yanmar, so you're all right. Never mind. I think John Deere's are very, very heavy machines. <clears throat> Built well, but just heavy. Track. You got everything I want the cup and the. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about this. Whoa. What's up with this button? Huh? Forward versus neutral on the back. Nope. What do we got? Oh, yeah, there's a bunch up here. See what I've seen on the left side of armrest. What about it? Oh, left side armrest? This. <laughs> Who's resting their arm over here, though? You're in there for hours plowing. Yeah, but if you're if you're plowing, you got your hand on the joystick and you got your hand on the wheel. That's true. He, he did see. Is it? Dude, well, this joystick's weird. Backup camera. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of toggles left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve extra toggles. I feel like there's more glass in this cab than this cab. Think so? I have batteries disconnected. This is a very wide cab. Look at the wiper. I mean, it's got to go. What's the distance? Oh. I want a John Deere. Don't worry, I can I can edit that part out. Yeah, a little willy in the compact seat. Ditch witch. You got a whole bunch of different mini loaders here. There's this wonky thing. Tree work. It's like a hybrid wheel tracks. I don't get that. SK 3000. This is a big boy. Is that a gas shock? Oh no, that's a rubber mouth. 
This is crazy. All this for just picking up a straw bale? What the heck? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? No, I have not. Where's the bobcat? No. Why? I just saw a bobcat. up the expo for me this year it's about 1 30 now waiting on my uber to show up flight back to buffalo i pretty much saw everything i needed to see been a good couple days here in louisville so And what you can do, you can run 95% of your business through our software. We've got a mobile crew app for the guys in the field. We've got a sales estimator app for your sales in the field. And then you've got the cloud base, which is all browser. So everything's internet. There's no software to install. Just go to your website, log in, and you've got full access to your software. Like I said, you can run 95% of the business. All your AR can still be tracked within our software. You'll still end up going to QuickBooks and do all of that in there as well. But you can still send invoices and accept payments through Arborgold. We have an integrated payment processor, so you don't have to go somewhere else. Everything can be integrated to your customer portal for your customers to pay their own invoices on their own without you having to call them and track them down. Makes it a little bit easier and less stressful on your side. You've got a CRM, you've got proposals. You can have those get auto priced depending on your subscription level. You can have automated proposal follow-up emails sent out on a regular basis so you don't have to call people again, saving you time and energy. So, and we can also get you guys a free, about 40 minute demo if you guys want to schedule it. So, and I'll make sure that Spencer has my business card so you guys can schedule that if you want to. Any questions? So, I see that mobile crew, mobile crew, I guess the main thing that we would probably want to get out of it is right now we're doing everything, timing materials, yeah. written down the crews on paper. Sure. If we could get that digital and sign a crew something digital, I think that would be yeah. something. Is that, it look, kind of looks like what you got here. Exactly. So, you, so for example, you'd have a sales guy go out in the field, meet with the client, he'd be able to make a proposal right there on the spot with the customer on his iPad or phone, whichever he's comfortable with. 
has the option to email it to the customer right away or have them turn around and just sign it on the spot. As soon as it gets approved, the system puts that service into a queue to get scheduled. You throw it on the schedule for whichever crew it should be with. That crew will see then that work on their mobile crew app here. This is like a daily summary. How many jobs, how many services, estimated hours for the crew for the day. And then here's the materials if they're doing any kind of applications broken down. And then they're also able to sign in for the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, and then sign into each specific service so you can get true job costing. Not just for the day, but to, to the individual service so you know how you're making money or not making money. Is this all kind of pre-populates based on the estimate that was put in? Correct, so this is all gonna be based on the information that you provide. The calculations will auto-generate based on that information. The size of the lawn, the size of the tree, the application rate for the chemical, the ratios and all that. And it's also able for reports for your local EPA if you need it. And then I guess price-wise, is it each crew has a cost per month or what's the, how does that all work? Yeah, so it's user-based. Uh, starting from 129 a month for the first cloud user, all the way up to 474 a month for the first cloud user on the enterprise side. We do have three levels: starter, professional, and enterprise. Each level has its own features and benefits, but whether or not those are what you need can be determined on a more detailed call. Because I mean, the highest level might not be what you guys will need. The features aren't ne aren't necessary. And then that's for the first cloud user. And then each additional cloud or mobile user is a small monthly fee on top of that, ranging anywhere from $33 a month to $55 a month. And do you have to have the estimating part to be able to get the crew? Because this, this is kind of what we, this screen is kind of what I would think that we would. Yeah. I, mean, no, I don't you, know if we would need the estimating. Maybe I misspoke. We, we do use an estimating, but it's all through Excel. Sure. Yep. So yeah. Um, if we can then input materials and stuff like that into something like this. Right. You know, no, you, got it. you don't need the estimator to do the mobile crew. It's There's two user licenses and one is cloud, which is going to be your, you accessing the software on a browser, on a computer, or your mobile device. Then the other user is a mobile, which is either going to be a sales guy or a crew leader. One of the, one of the two. And you choose what that person does. You just pay for the mobile license and then you assign the responsibility of that user. Okay. So, no, you don't need to have the sales to have the mobile. You can have all mobile in one cloud to get the thing going, whatever you want. It's customizable. Yeah, I think that would be kind of more of our, uh, of our realm. And okay. then how about, this is maintenance, uh, you know, uh, install type things, is that? Yep. And this is his name, maintenance crew, this, that's the- uh, That's just the sample on the picture. So you've got, tree care companies that use us, lawn landscape, like lawn maintenance, I should say, landscape installation companies that use us. So it is it is geared towards the green industry, not just like service as a broad spectrum. It is geared towards the green industry. Yeah, because we're install, commercial work, uh, yeah. lawn installs, hydro and grading. Yep, all of that. Okay. And you can have your services auto price based on square footage, based on an hourly rate, based on the time and material. There's options to have things auto-priced. Or you just simply manually add the price in yourself without having to do that math. Okay. Oh, you got any literature? Yep, I'll give you this right here.